do 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 I love field phenomena. I love lightning too. I don't know how much you love lightning. Some of you have actually been struck by lightning. I've nearly been struck by lightning uh, three times. I was impacted by lightning, so I could technically say I've been struck by lightning. However, it was peripheral. But we all suffer from a lot of delusions, and humanity is not really that evolved when it comes to understanding fields. And I was, grew up just like you, believing this nonsense that uh, lightning strikes, you know, from uh, cloud to ground. And there's an interesting phenomena that we only recently discovered now that we have high altitude uh, aircraft, and they're called sprites, and they actually. Um, spew out into outer space and they uh, charge up the ion. It's just a fascinating phenomenon, but I'm not here to talk about sprites. But I, like you, for much of uh, my life, uh, suffered under the delusion that lightning strikes uh, from cloud to ground. And this is simply not true. Um, Eric Dollar has actually talked about this uh, to a very small degree. And I wanted to talk about this. And uh, the dendritic pattern of lightning is absolutely fascinating. And it also, too, follows a phi logarithmic, i.e. the golden ratio, which, of course, is incredibly brilliant. And it's beautiful. And uh, explaining that would uh, take a long time. Not really. You know, this uh, stepped leader pattern that you actually see, um, they actually will take lucite and bombard it with ultra-high radiation x-rays and they'll create uh, lightning artwork. It's not really lightning, but it looks identical to lightning, and it's this dendritic capture. They charge up the lucite, they take it uh, behind this, uh, I think it's a lead-covered barrier. It's done up in Chicago. Other people uh, do it, and it's bombarded with enormous amounts of uh, radiation, so it creates this electrostatic uh, torsion. They think it's electrons, which of course is complete lunacy and absurdity, but who cares what they think about that. Anyway, they charge it up, and there's videos on this, and uh, when it comes out, you have to wear gloves. It's just charged up, because things that are clear, people think are an insulator, they're actually capacitors. So there's an enormous amount of charge held within this lucite. It's been bombarded with ultra-high energy x-rays, just literally super bombarded. I mean, it would be wickedly deadly to any human being to go across that conveyor belt that this lucite does, which is, you know, I don't know if you know what lucite is, like thick, clear plastic. And they'll sit there, and it's just a nail on the end of a stick, and the nail is actually grounded, and uh, they'll put it up on its edge, they'll put it right in the center of the thick edge of it, and they'll whack it with a hammer. And all of that dielectric tension dissipates into counter space, which is what a ground is anyway. But lightning is not striking from cloud to ground. Now, superficially, we think that that's the case. And we'll see stepped leaders, they're called. Some of them then, of course, don't make contact with ground, and that's how human beings have this idea that lightning strikes uh, from cloud to ground, but that's not the case. And there are many images of this. It's hard to capture because it's, a, uh, it's not a rare phenomenon of all, at all, but it's uh, rather hard. Uh, there's not an enormous amount of images that have been captured of this, but you could uh, do a, a Google search uh, type in upward streamers, where there's this uh, charge of saturation in the atmosphere because of the of not only the earth, but also, too, the clouds, but their lightning is not going from cloud to ground. And there are these uh, upward leaders. Basically, uh, it's called upward lightning. Some people call it upward lightning. And uh, I've known a few people that have seen it, and it's when you see that, you better run, because that means that it, the, the discharge saturation, which is the impulse current in the air, it's not actually in the air itself, the oxygen and nitrogen, is such that it is looking to dissipate. If you see an upward streamer, then you're in trouble. Um, hopefully not, but I mean, it might hit you. Anyway, you'll actually see lightning strikes where there's many upward streamers uh, being emitted from a ground uh, towards the cloud, and it is looking to connect. But it'll say, well, you know, lightning is grounded out, and we still have this idea that lightning strikes from uh, cloud to ground, and that's not the case. It's actually a uh, impulse uh, current in a discharge into counter space. And Dullard said it accurately, and I'm not going to feign, you know, to be the first person to say this. He said it in one of his videos, and he's actually 100% correct. Of course, he said that, uh, you know, it's completely ridiculous, some, th something, something along these lines, he said, to think is uh, lightning. He said, if you build your lightning arresters on the idea that lightning strikes from cloud to ground, you're going to fail. Your, your, elect your uh, lightning arrestor system is going to fail. He said, is it a lateral discharge? 
in the counter space. There's a desaturation effect that is an impulse current discharge in the counter space. And this is accurate. And yet all of us, you know, we were taught this and we see this. And it's the same thing with magnetism. Correct observations but incorrect conclusions. You know, that what a magnet is is this device that has a magnetic field around it and that's a magnet and that's magnetism around it. Well, the primarily, primary factor of a magnet is it's a dielectric uh, hyperboloid, but people aren't fascinated by that. You know, that's not what is moving metal pieces around. So, uh, everybody has seen lightning, either up close or off in the distance, and, you know, from superficial observation, we think, well, it's striking from cloud to ground, you know, because of the thunderstorm, the, the big dangerous clouds that are up there, they're, therefore lightning. You know, because it's bad weather. Bad weather is up there. It's not down here, right? Well, how would we ever think that lightning is anything other than cloud to ground? A superficial, accurate observation is, however, an incorrect conclusion. And this is fascinating. Fields are fascinating. And people have made fun of me. I don't care if people say subspace or zero space or counter space, the ether. It doesn't make any difference. But lightning is not a cloud to ground phenomena. It is a desaturation lateral into counter space. And if you've actually ever seen lightning up close and didn't close your eyes because it is, of course, very frightening and loud, you'll actually see the desaturation in counter space. You'll actually see the lightning pulse. And you can see that it is discharging into counter space. But it must have a ground. But the desaturation of the impulse current of the lightning is discharged into counter space. It's not discharging into the ground. Well, sure there is. There's fulgurites and, you know, we've all seen lightning rods and the, you know, the streak. Well, that's just true. You know, it has to find a ground. Yes. Many times lightning doesn't hit ground. It will discharge into counter space halfway between the clouds and the ground. So where do you think it is grounding out then? Most lightning strikes are not, do not make a connection between a cloud and ground. I assume most of you know that also. Anyway, the field uh, phenomena of lightning is fascinating, especially, you know, the many years I lived in Florida where there's an enormous amount of lightning phenomena. You know, it's scary, it's frightening, it's dangerous as hell, obviously so, because it's ultra-high voltage, and, and you know, it will do some serious damage to you, obviously so. But uh, this is not a vertical phenomenon. It is a lateral phenomenon and a discharge in the counter space from the impulse current of the saturation that is generated from... Just like uh, rubbing a balloon on someone's hair, you actually generate uh, the static electricity. I mean, what do you think the bumping of, these, uh, of this uh, cumulus uh, phenomena that's actually uh, creating a charge disparity, you know, in the volume between the ground and the cloud, and also, too, above the cloud. And then we have the sprite phenomena. Nova actually had a great video on the sprite phenomena that actually shoot up into outer space. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very beautiful phenomena. They don't understand it, um, but it's beautiful. I've done a video on sprite phenomena. But uh, Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. I hope you didn't find this video too boring, but look up uh, upward streamers. There are more than a few images out there. There's not a tremendous amount, but uh, some people will call it upwards lightning or uh, ground to cloud lightning, but uh, it's the connection for the discharge of the uh, impulse current to discharge and desaturate into counter space. And it will make connection whichever is faster and whichever is better. You know, it seeks the path of least resistance, which of course we all know that about lightning. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.